Hello everyone, I haven't seen some actual comments that NVIDIA GeForce GT 710 cannot run Yuzu for some reason. Mine is 2 gigabytes only and it actually runs it. As you can see, that's what I truly have. And close here, these are my other specs. I have a second generation processor, i5-2400 and its speed is right here. It can actually reach up to 3.40 gigahertz. And for RAM, it actually has 16 RAMs and it's a 60-bit, 64-bit operating system. So just with this and it's Windows 10 Pro. Now, when we go to game, I always use this early access version. It's like my favorite so far because I haven't seen anything off with it like some people have said that they have the applet on and all that my settings would be for this in general I have limit speed percent 100% multi-core CPU emulation confirmed as it while emulating is running um, hotkeys I don't touch anything here system and services you're gonna put nine don't let it don't let this be on because actually this was ruining my experience before and now I have way better frame rates this you won't touch it CPU if it's the early access version you're gonna leave it at auto if it's not if it's the main line I which I don't really recommend but if it's the main line you're gonna put it on on safe and I know that then in graphics here it will be OpenGL if you're in an NVIDIA GPU if you're in AMD you have to use Vulkan I am using an NVIDIA GPU as you saw but it says NVIDIA only GLASM lamps OpenGL you can choose here borderless windowed default 16.9 then we go to advanced in advanced accuracy level some people like it high I keep it on normal okay and accuracy levels I do use vSync OpenGL only and, and we are using OpenGL that's why this is mark this is not mark use fast GPU time yes you're gonna mark that anisotropic filtering default audio some people get better frame rates by disabling this I never had to disable it for a long time and I keep it like that and here auto and auto volume as you choose controls I use handheld for all the games so far and for if I'm doing with two players on Let's Go, yeah, I do these ones, but for everything, it's handheld. After that, let's see what mods I actually use for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And the only ones I have on are 30 FPS and Boot Straight 2 menu, which you can see here. I'll link them in the description below. They are from the official site. They're I didn't make them, and they're pretty good. It helps a lot. I didn't change the settings. The settings are the ones I showed before. But these two, make sure they're they're marked. You download them, and then you just have to put them here into your emulator, which are called these are mods. And these mods will simply do is that they will help you stay with without having on cap frame rates. Right now you can see how it's building shaders so quickly. This is why I recommend the early access instead of the mainline. Mainline instead is like you have to do an action that it hasn't seen before and it will make the shader. This one, if I do an action that it hasn't seen before, it actually makes more than two shaders 
at least I saw it once doing like 64 shaders just for one action now here you can see that my game is already loading at there we go 30 frames per second it booted to the menu it's not actually it booted to the menu it's not actually showing me the intro which is the song words of light instead it puts me in the intro because that's what I asked it for to do with the mod it's locked on 30 fps with the mod 30 fps mod now we're gonna go to game smash here it doesn't matter what you choose really I'm gonna choose classic any I don't have to be like I saw some people saying that you can only play in certain stages so far I don't have to do that I can choose any stage and it will be fine now as you can see I have all the characters and it doesn't slow down or every or anything I did saw some slow down some people that did have like unlock all the characters here I'm gonna choose Pichu let's do it with four players so you can see that even with four players the frame rates will not drop there we go you can keep being focused on the frame rates which are the important part of this video You can use the early access number that is the latest one right now. I'm using this one because it's the most comfortable with me. I don't like updating it too much. And as you can see, this one was the first time I saw it. So it's building shaders for it. And it's still in 30 even though it was building shaders. And it's building shaders again. And it has no problems with me playing while it's building shaders. With the mainland, main mainline. With the mainline Yusu, there's a big problem. Every time it was building a shader, like it will go from 30 to around 25 to 20, and it was very annoying because when it loses, when it actually loses frame rates that are lower than 30, those are very noticeable. This speed is good. I mean, I don't need to be in 60 to actually play this game. This game is very playable. And you can see that they're fighting. I'm moving the, just the controller because I can't hold the camera at the same time I'm recording. But as you can see, yeah, they're, they're fighting and everything and it's not slowing down at all. The gameplay. Now that you have seen how it is. I'm gonna stop the game. There's no glitches or anything in this early access. Some people when they were on here they would have like a red glitch. It's not here anymore. As you can see, yeah, it's NVIDIA GT710 can actually run Yusu perfectly. There's no problems with it being, being restricted to just 2 gigabytes, and there's no problems with your processor actually being from second generation because the important part of your processor is that it's fast not that which generation it is or not I mean yeah you could get a 10 generation if you need and it will be way better but if you have a second generation there's no problem with that third generation whatever you have that is fine the important part is that it's higher like where it says I'll show you right now 
where it says the gigahertz. The minimum gigahertz that I would advise are 3.10. Lower than that, yeah, that's where I say, whoa, okay, no, you, you actually need a new processor. But if yours goes higher than this or it's around this, this, just like mine, like 340, 320, you're good to go. It's important that you at least have eight gigabytes of RAM. I have 16. And yeah, you can totally run it without problems.